Hey there, meteorologist Paige Noel here with a look at that forecast, a messy forecast expected. A WVLT first alert weather day starts really overnight tonight and then continues as we head throughout majority of the morning hours and then even after the rain moves out of here, expecting those gusty winds. So you've, you've probably heard about those severe storms down in Texas. It's the same system, but not as strong as it moves in here. Let's get you started with a live look at the radar and cloud track right now because you'll notice where that heavier rain is already setting up into really down into parts of Mississippi, starting to move in there, moving out of Louisiana, could be moving into Alabama, starting to see some of that rain moving into Memphis right now. Here's a severe watch, so we do have a tornado watch out for almost the entire state of Mississippi right now. Here's actually a live look. This is I-40 west of the Mississippi River, so this is in parts of Memphis. This is kind of a little bit more what we're going to be dealing with here in East Tennessee. You'll notice heavy rain, water on the roadways, limited visibility, and that's going to be happening tomorrow morning during that morning commute. So that is really our main concern with this moving in as it is providing some severe weather down in the deep south. Mm -hmm. Those strong to severe thunderstorms not really expected here. Definitely some gusty winds, some rumbles of thunder, a few stronger storms possible, but nothing like they're dealing with down to the south. So just look at that. But that is tomorrow morning, especially with that sunrise a little bit later. So that limited visibility, it's already dark adding into that rain. I don't know about you, but I do not drive well in the rain at dark. So you'll just want to take it easy. I'll show you that in a sec. Let's take you back, though, to those watches down into parts of Mississippi. I'm sure we'll see more of that watch get extended into parts of Alabama um, probably in the next little bit. Here's a look at that rain for those severe storms today. You see that enhanced and moderate risk into parts of Alabama, mostly into Mississippi. This is for today. When you get to that moderate risk, that is a four to five on that severe weather scale. So a very, very high risk for those severe storms. It's like I said, this is the same system. If it's sure you saw multiple videos out of Texas yesterday. It is that same line of storms. Bringing it closer to home though, you'll notice that we're in a marginal risk. That's a one out of five on that severe weather scale. So it is very, very low looking towards the Carolinas and then down into Georgia. They're just in that slight risk. That's a two out of five on that severe weather scale. I really think it's mostly those gusty winds. It's going to be a really big concern for us tomorrow. But it's weird with this system, with this cold front, we have different components of it hitting at different times. I'll show you that in a little bit. Let's talk a little bit more about that severe storm risk and what we're expected here at home in East Tennessee. All of us, including parts of southeastern Kentucky, in that marginal risk. So you'll notice that tornado, hail, and flooding threat is very low. Some very small localized flooding potentially overnight early into tomorrow and just that standing water on the roadways. When it comes to those winds, that's a big concern. We have a little bit of those winds moving in early. And then as we head into those afternoon hours, those winds pick up again after the rain has kind of already moved out. So like I said, this cold front coming in in a couple rounds with different things uh, going on. But once again, that tornado hail flooding threat is on the very, very low end with this system as the rain moves in and then those winds move in a little bit later. So it's that commute once again, six, seven o'clock, especially. I think the heaviest rain could be moving in between that five, six, seven a.m. time frame. So if you're up earlier because that morning commute, that kind of prime morning commute is definitely closer to about 8 o'clock where it's starting to become more scattered. But even by then, even if that heavy stuff's pushed out, it has nowhere to go. So it's ponding on the roadways, which could create um, a lot of issues in the morning. Just give yourself plenty of time to get to where you're going. Slow down. It's never worth it to rush to work when um, conditions like this, because once again, you see this Wednesday morning, it's going to be looking a whole lot like this. I'll take you back to that I-40 West of Mississippi River, and this is during the day. So I think it'll be very similar to what's happening in Mississippi or in Mississippi in Memphis this right now just west of the Mississippi River there. That's what we're going to be dealing with um, tomorrow morning. So that morning commute is definitely going to be a little bit of a messy one. Here's a look at that forecast as we head throughout the day. Wednesday, you'll notice that first alert 
is early. It's showing by 8 o'clock in the morning, temperatures only dropping to about 60 degrees there. And then by noon, getting near 70, dealing with some very isolated showers and thunderstorms. And then it's going to get windy after that. That wind's going to allow those temperatures to get near about 75 degrees. It's actually going to be relatively nice after this front kind of pushes through, at least the rain part of it. Because even by that 6, 7 o'clock time frame, kind of dealing with those mostly sunny skies, temperatures near 67 degrees. You'll notice that coverage there, 80%. That's early in the morning. So I actually just put out a W. Uh, uh, an app video in that WVLT first alert weather app that explains how relatively nice it's going to be by the afternoon hours. You know, we're focused on that morning commute, focused on that heavy rain for sure, but it's not a total washout of a day if you're trying to make plans by the afternoon hours. It just gets a little bit on that windy side. So we'll have to keep an eye on that tomorrow. Um, I got a little bit more details on that coming up. Let's go ahead and get into that future cast. I want to break this down hour by hour with you. We are going to start to see kind of that spotty rain pushing in. They're showing right around 10 o'clock. So later tonight, mostly after sunset. So if you're trying to get out and enjoy the rest of today, definitely recommend doing so because it is really nice out there. It really is right now and it's going to continue. We're just going to see those clouds increase. So enjoy it before we get the rain pushing in. And then, yeah, we got a cold after that as well. So this is showing right around 10 o'clock, closer to 1030, still dealing with some of those spotty rain chances there and even into parts of Jamestown Plateau, starting to get on that heavy rain, mainly after midnight there. And you could definitely see the heaviest pushing into the plateau. So areas like Cumberland County, Fentress County, even up into areas, parts of southeastern Kentucky, they're showing after midnight. We'll turn on that first alert kind of right around that two, three o'clock in the morning. Starting to see some pockets of heavy rainfall, heavy, heavy rainfall pushing into parts of you know Morgan County, Campbell County starting to get in on it, Scott County as well. Very spotty chances there by four o'clock into parts of Knox, Loud, and Roan County going to be starting to get in on that rain at 4 a.m. Just spotty there, but that heavier stuff pushing closer to the plateau. Now this showing by 6 a.m. Seeing more of that widespread rainfall. Now areas, Sneedville, Morristown, Newport, you guys are just dealing with that spotty rain by 6 a.m., but don't worry, it's coming for you into far west Knox County, into Blunt County. Anderson even starting to get a little bit into Union County there by 6 a.m. That's when we're going to start to see that heavy rain fall. So it might even wake you up early. Like I said, a few rumbles of thunder are definitely possible with this as well. So you might hear some thunder, see some lightning throughout those morning hours. If you're a light sleeper, that might wake you up a little bit. But definitely still seeing that heavy rain. Remember, that was starting closer to about 2, 3 a.m. onto the plateau continuing still by 6 a.m. So expect that heavy rain to continue for a few hours over there where they are expected to get the heaviest. You'll notice the system dying down a little bit as it pushes a little bit more eastward. But like again, this by 6 a.m. Definitely seeing some of that heavy rain pushing into parts of the valley, especially into Knox County where that morning commute can get very messy. But by 8 o'clock, it starts to break up at least into parts of the valley, um, even into parts of Blount County. You could see that rain not kind of missing you a little bit. But if you look up towards parts of um, Sneedville, into parts of Hamblin, Hancock County, even into Jefferson, County kind of dealing with those pockets of heavy rain there by 8 a.m. So that morning commute for you guys could be a little bit more on that messy side, just dealing with more of that light to moderate rainfall into parts of Greene County, Cock County, but starting to break up into Knox County there by 8 a.m. That's why we had that yellow on that morning commute because by then it's at least going to start to break up a little bit. So if you're just now stepping out the door, though, those roads are still going to be very wet and very messy. Check this out, 1030 though, just dealing with some spotty showers, maybe still a few spotty thunderstorms, but mostly just those spotty showers. Clouds starting to break up as well, especially towards the plateau where you guys are definitely going to want to break there by 1030. And then by the afternoon hours, we look looking pretty good. It looks like those clouds are clearing out very quickly which would be really nice for your Wednesday afternoon. But this is also when the winds start to push in. I'll show you that in just a little bit, but not looking too bad by the afternoon. We could dry out at least pretty quickly with all that sunshine that we're going to see. Very isolated spotty shower. I'd say more of a stray shower, stray thunderstorm possible. But I think most of that moisture has moved out while the winds start to crank up with that sunshine by the afternoon hours on Wednesday. Even heading into the rest of those kind of evening hours, there's a little bit more of those spotty showers there by 9 o'clock, but 
Other than that, we're looking pretty good by the rest of the day on Wednesday. Looking at that rain forecast where you live, so how much rain is are you going to see in your backyard? You'll see where that heavy rain sets at. Remember Plateau, we've been talking about that. Kind of zooming in here, about two tenths, three tenths of an inch there. Madisonville towards Athens, about a tenth here in Knoxville. Could pick up a little bit more into some areas, but with it breaking apart kind of right over Knox County, um, I can see, you can see Lenore City, two, three tenths of an inch more towards part of the western part of Knox County versus downtown to the eastern part where that system kind of breaks up right over us. But if you look towards Crossville, Deer Lodge, Jamestown, closer to about an inch of rain expected for you guys, about seven tenths there in La Follette, three, four tenths of an inch there in Middlesboro, two of Williamsburg, but even from Monticello to Williamsburg, an inch to about three tenths of an inch. There's a pretty sharp cutoff there. And then our far eastern counties, even though you guys have some pockets of heavy rain, it's definitely breaking apart as it gets to you. That's why you're only seeing about a tenth, two tenths of an inch, maybe less than a tenth of an inch into some spots, especially parts of Cock County there towards Dandridge as well could see some of those higher totals on those mountaintops. We do have this high wind warning. This is from 8 p.m. really tonight until 8 p.m. there on your Wednesday. Gust up to 70 miles per hour for those mountaintops. So they're going to have that southeast winds 30 to 40 miles per hour. But the weird part about this is they come a little bit later than that front. So we're going to keep that red banner on as we start to see some of those gusty winds really throughout the day. So that the front is moving through. You see those winds cranking there towards Townsend and Hartford, about 30 miles per hour there in Oneida, closer to 25, 30 in Knoxville. And then this is by the time the rain moves out there by 10, 30, winds gusting up to about 45 miles per hour in Knoxville. And then widespread 35 to 40 miles per hour by that one, two o'clock. And if you remember, we got sunshine during this time. So it won't be too bad out there. It'll just be a little bit on that windy side or a lot of it on that windy side. Even by 4:30 still seeing those widespread gusts of about 30 to 40 miles per hour. So that's why I said we're going to get parts of this front where we're going to get the rain, then we're going to get the winds, and then we're not going to get that cooler air till much later. Um, but kind of dying down at least on those winds by the time we get to 11 o'clock on Wednesday, about 30, 35 miles per hour there, closer to about 20 in some spots. So Overall, here's what you need to know. Timeline overnight to that morning commute on Wednesday. That's when we're expected to see the heaviest rain. That's when our first alert is. Standing water on the roadways and your impacts are just some of those gusty storms. Potentially some stronger storms is possible, but mostly just kind of that heavy rain throughout the morning hours and then those gusts moving in a little bit later. And here's when that cooler air arrives. Not until a little bit later, dropping into those lower 60s there by Thursday. Getting back into the 50s there, Friday into Saturday. Yeah, could be talking rain to a little bit of mountain snow as well. So that is going to be potentially a concern as we head into the weekend. Not a big one, but it is just funny to talk about as we head towards the end of March. Staying into those 50 Sundays, getting back into the 60s there, Monday into Tuesday. So take it easy there on your Wednesday. Going to leave you with this camera, I-40 west of the Mississippi River, where they're dealing with that heavy, heavy rain. Strong to severe storms possible south of them. This heavy rain moving into our area tomorrow. And, of course, we'll keep you updated through that WVLT First Alert weather app. And coming up on WVLT News a little bit later tonight.